And there's our last statue. So thank you very much for watching. Oh wait, Mr. Helium Lemon 15, we're not done yet. Rat row. We're not done yet. And if you were to say that to me in an incredibly dumb voice, you would be right. But only with the dumb voice. Dang, that leaf monster went hard. <laughs> he just, he, he was like, I'm not letting this target get away. He followed me for like 20 feet. I don't know. How, how dare he? And did I mention I was playing Kirby's Epic Yarn? I really love the art style of that. The music I was getting a little tired of, and I thought the controls were a little clunky, but like, now I've gotten used to it. I think I've gotten used to some of the controls. I don't know, I feel like as much as I love Kirby games, they can feel a bit slow sometimes. And I thought I kept like putting in the uh, double tap, like the input for if you want to dash in that game, go faster. And I was like, it never works. And I was like, well, am I doing it too fast? I don't know, I think I just need to do it more carefully, but I don't know. Kirby's Epic Yarn is maybe not a game that I would do on this channel. I'd have to think about it. I don't... It's not my favorite Kirby game by any means, but I really like the graphics. And it's done in a very nice style. And some of... Uh, just to see the next level, unlock it, get a few treasures just explore each level. The wa the snow level and the space level are really satisfying just to sort of look at and soak in the atmosphere. So yeah. And I'm, I'm going through a few of the levels and getting the old treasures, or the getting the treasures, and I like how there are a few mini games in it, but I don't know. But yeah, it's been addictive just to feel like I'm rewarded by completing it, so. So it's been a game that I've been playing more consistently than some other games. Alright. Welcome to the final boss of Lost Winds. Lost Winds. <laughs> That's the whole title, just Lost Winds. Look, Toku, Magmok is covered in glory. Balazar's power must have decayed that poor creature's mind. We need to stop him, Toku, or he may return to Balazar with Deo's power. Return to Balazar with Deo's power? How could he do that? Alright. So he's gonna put down his hand, and on his hand is one of those little Glorb factories controlled by a, a shard of Balazar's influence. So you just need to take care of that. And you notice that they give us a, a boulder. And so you hit his head with that boulder. Now at first I couldn't figure out, I thought, I thought you just needed to do the same thing. I thought you needed to try and burn the thing on his head with a, a fire. So he's gonna go for the other hand. But of course we... We don't need to get rid of anything on that hand anymore, so let's see if... Yep. Yeah. Oh, what does he sound like? He sounds like some big animal. You know, like, you know, like how, like, in Star Wars they did the voice of Chewbacca from, like, actually recording animals. Sounds like he might be a bear. Some other big animal. Maybe a hippo. No, I don't know. So now we can finally burn the thing on his head and take care of it. And... Bad guy Magmok will turn into good guy Magmok. You know, you are no longer possessed by Donkey Kong. Oh, oh, got, still got some goop on there. Good boy. I did it. Are you proud of me? I'll burn you. Burn this grass. Ah, I am so green. I am so lovely. 
I am so pretty. I am pretty and witty and wise. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. And I don't entirely understand what just happened there, but it's happy. Look at that happy smile. All right, let's finish this game off right. With Balazar's evil cleanse from Magmark, Deo's power was restored once more. And so, with the help of Magmark, the people began returning the village to its former glory. Deo used his power to send a message to the other spirits hiding in Mistralis. He would let them now know he would let them know that Enril was alive and seeking their help to release her from the stone. But they were not the only ones to hear Deo's call. In deepest shadows, the spirit heard of the boy hero who flew with the wind and fought the darkness. Unaware of the evil moving against him, hey look, it's me. It's me. Toku courageously ad agreed to adventure on with Enril to help find the key to a freedoms. To return, the lost wins. Thank you for watching. To be continued. So yes, this game has a sequel. It's awesome. I'm playing that as soon as I can. But if you are watching... <coughs> if you are watching this and you are a game developer working for Frontier, please make a third Lost Wins. I don't know how you can do it on the Switch or on the whatever, but just please do it. It would make me so happy. Now, I realize you can't just make sequels as fan service. I, re I learned that from John O'Chrome <laughs> or John Bro and his, and his Riddle School games. But um, Lost Wins is a Frontier Game of the Week design from an original idea by Stephen Burgess. All right. And uh, thank you, Alistair Lindsay, for composing beautiful music. I don't think, I don't know if he was listed there in the, in the credits. Uh, and that's the end of the game. Do we get any, uh, yeah. So it took, it took me a few less minutes. It wasn't a speed run, but a better time at least. And we're finished with Lost Winds. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with this long video. So I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this LP. I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, it's been a delight to play this game and show it off for the world. Uh, so stay tuned for the next uh, Helium Lemon 15 Extravaganza, whatever they mi that might be. I'm going to continue working on Endless Ocean and Majora's Mask. All right, that's it. That's it. That's all, folks. Go finish your homework now.